Okay, here we are. We're showing the mighty DR5000, the DR5008RC, which is a rail cob compliant, a DR4018, which has been replaced by the DK50018. You'll notice that the 4018 has LN90 and 5008 has LN100. So what we have here is the DigiGuys Dutch signals being operated via Bluetooth control through the DR DK50018 using JMRI and just there the white box is a RPI kit which has Steve Todd's engine driver build and we're running throttles throttles on Android tablets Okay, George, up to you, mate. Tell them what's going on. All right, if you look down this road, you'll see the dwarf signal's at red. That's because it's controlling that block, and the mass is on yellow. That's because the dwarf signal's red, and the mass is a distant signal. The dwarf signal is at red because the points are against it. If I change the points... The dwarf signal will go to green, and the mask is a green. That's because all the blocks are clear. Now, if we turn the and why, before you go any further, why is block three red? Block three is red because the current point is against that train. Right, and there's an engine in there, correct? No, no it's just because the point's against it. Ah, okay. That block up there is clear. Right. So if I change the point... You'll see that block goes to green. Yep. Now if I drive the train forward. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's go for reverse, lad. Let's go for reverse. If I drive the train backwards. The signal's gone to red because there's a train in the block. Yeah. And the signals on this side haven't changed. Still red, still red. So yeah. what's happened at the other end? At the other end, that, that signal would be green. That's <coughs> <coughs> uh, red, lad, sorry. Because there's a pitch in the, the, block. In the block. Yeah, the distance signal is at red, the mask is at red, and the um, the, the wharf is at amber. Amber. That's because you're getting you're going off. Turning. Correct. Turning. Yeah. All right. Set the point. Road straight ahead. So the mask is still at red. That's because there's a train in the block. The the wharf is at green because we're going straight ahead. Yeah. Okay, can we get this to do a flashing orange? Yeah, wait a minute, I'll show you that now. Good driving. Now what you should have now is the dwarf at red on the, the other end. Yep. The dwarf at red and the and the mask at yellow. Now, if I change the point, the dwarf will go to flashing. yellow, and the mask will be flashing yellow. And there it is, flashing yellow and yellow. It's yellow because the um, the the points are set. To turn. It's thrown, and the reason why... So it's, it's a caution signal. Yeah, and the reason why the 
Mask is flashing yellow is because your next signal is at yellow. Excellent. Okay, so there you go, guys. Sorry about this, it's back to front, but the DK50018, the DR40018, we'll change that out when the other 5008s arrive. The 5088RC, Railcode compliant, the fantastic DigiGuys DR5000. Steve Todd's engine driver build in a Raspberry Pi. Running trains, operating signals with a 10 inch Android tablet and an Android phone. So we hope that gives you guys some sort of information. Uh, when Giants put pen to paper, we'll have this written in a, J in a PDF form so you blokes can understand what's going on. So in the meantime, happy railroading. Bye-bye.